The University of Tennessee has some very impressive athletic facilities, which is what stuck out most to early enrollee Daniel Helm when he first took a visit to Rocky Top. When I first walked in, definitely the facilities. Like, uh, this new complex is amazing. And then when I walked into Neyland Stadium, I'd been to a couple other stadiums like the Big House and stuff like that, and no other stadium was so intimidating just walking into it empty because the walls go straight up. It was like, I was kind of scared. So uh, I was like, I definitely don't want to play visiting here, so. An intimidating Neyland Stadium, along with Tennessee's coaching staff and fan base, are what sealed the deal for the tight end from Chatham, Illinois. I like the coaching staff here. I like Coach Elder and Coach Jake a lot. And Coach Jones, I think, is going to uh, turn this program around. Uh, the fan base and everything, I just feel like uh, we can win faster here. With faith in the direction of where the football program is headed and the support Fall Nation has shown for Team 118, especially at the basketball game on January 11th, the University of Tennessee is the ideal place for Daniel. I mean, like, after we were announced, Ethan and me, we had people coming up wanting to get pictures with us. I mean, we haven't even set foot on the field. You don't even know if we're any good. So, and they still want pictures with us. The fan base here is just crazy. And, like, the roar that all of us got, particularly Jalen when, when he came out. It's like, dang, people really know who we are. They're following stuff, so that's pretty cool. His toughest adjustment thus far has been in the weight room, but he knows that he can lean on his teammates for support. And the weights are crazy. Um, when I first, the first week, I asked a couple other guys to make sure I wasn't the only one because it, it was hard. It was really hard, and yesterday's workout was really hard. But, I mean, it gets better, and then, uh, you know, everybody else is doing it too, and they went through the same stuff. Uh, that's something that the veterans are really helping, or like telling me that they, they went through the same experiences, so if I ever need, like, help or anything just to talk to them, that's really cool. So, the whole tight end group as a whole is uh, very helpful. They're trying to help me and Ethan succeed a lot, and uh, I really appreciate that from them. The Vols will continue helping each other improve leading up to the orange and white game on April 12th. For UTSports.com, I'm Julia Cox.